So in this video, we will discuss how to connect Gmail to MS Excel and create backup for your email. Now suppose guys, you are receiving lots and lots of emails on your Gmail account and you want to keep a backup of all of those email into MS Excel. Now guys, the manual process can be very much tough and time consuming for you. So in this video, I'll tell you how you can completely automate this process. So the trigger of this automation will be receiving new email in our Gmail account. And the action will be addition of new row, addition of data of that newly received mail into MS Excel. Interesting, right? Now how you can set up this complete automation by yourself very easily. To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So first of all, we will go to our browser and search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com slash connect. And after reaching to the landing page of Pabli Connect, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. Or if you already have, a, have an account, just click on sign in. So I will click on sign in and sign into my own Pabli Connect account. After that, you will reach to this all apps page of Pabli. Here we have to click on access now below Pabli Connect. Now we can see that we have reached to Public Connect's dashboard. In this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as Gmail to Excel and click on create. Now we can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is trigger window, second one is action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with the trigger window. So the idea here is first we have to get the details or the data of new emails, which we are receiving on our Gmail account and Pabli Connect. Then after that, using Pabli Connect, we will send that new email data to our MS Excel, Microsoft Excel sheet, so that we can create a backup over there. So guys, to get the email, the details of new email receiving on our Gmail account, we will use a feature of Public Connect that is email parser. So let's search for email parser. So after selecting email parser by Pabli, as you can see, Public Connect gave us an email address. So basically every email sent on this email address can be captured inside this Public Connect workflow in the response below. So guys, what we are going to do, we are going to actually forward all, all the emails, every email receiving on our Gmail account to this email address. So in this way, every new email which we receive on our Gmail account, we will receive the same mail in this Public Connect workflow as well. And using Public Connect, we will send that new mail to our Microsoft Excel sheet to create a backup over there. Now the question arises, how we are going to forward these emails? So just copy this email address from here, which Public Connect gave us. And after that, go to the Gmail account. So this is my Gmail account. And on the right side, we can see settings option over here. Just click on settings and then click on see all settings. Now, as we click on see all settings here, we have several options out of which we have to click on forwarding and POP slash IMAP to select it. And the first feature it is gives is forwarding. Just click on this add a forwarding address. And then here it comes a dialog box. So in this, this dialog box, we have to paste the same email address which we have copied from Public Connect workflow. Just copy it from here and paste it over here. And then click on next. After this, it is asking us for the confirmation. So we'll just click on proceed. Now it is showing us that a confirmation code has been sent on this email address, the same email address which we have added over here to verify permission. So Gmail has basically sent a confirmation code on this email address which Public Connect gave us. So as I told you, every email sent on this email address is received inside Public Connect workflow. And here in Public Connect workflow in trigger window, you can see we have received a response of the email which Gmail has sent. So in response, we can see that we have received this email from Gmail team. We can see other details regarding this email like the subject line. So this is the Gmail forwarding confirmation mail. Then we will scroll down and we will find other details regarding this mail sent on this email address. And at last we will find the body text. So in the body text section, we will find the actual body of this email. And here only we will find the confirmation code which Gmail was asking us. So from this response in Public Connect trigger window, we will find the body text of the email, copy the confirmation code, go to Gmail and paste it over here. And after pasting the confirmation code, just click on verify. And this email address is not verified. So right now by default it is selected, 
as disable forwarding we will change it to forward a copy of incoming mail to this email address and then click on save changes and that's it guys we have successfully forwarded all the emails receiving on our gmail coming on our gmail account to this email address given by email parser in public connect workflow now every time we receive an email we will receive the same data in public connect workflow as well so let's test it we will click on this recapture email parser button once and after that, using some other different account, we will send email on this account of ours. So this, the name of this my Google account, Gmail account is Devin Parker. So this is the email address. Let's copy it. And after this, let's go to a new tab. And from some other different account, I will send a test email, email in this video. So we'll just switch account to Gary Monroe, for example. This is my another different account. Let's go to Gmail and let's compose an email over here. Let's enter the email address of our main account on which we have added the forwarding. Let's give the subject line, for example, this is a test email. This is the subject line. Hello, Devin. We are just testing this automation. Okay, so this is the email address. Oh, sorry. This is the actual body of the mail. Thank you. Regards. So just as a test email in this video, just, just a dummy email, we are sending this email to Devin Parker, the account on which we have added the formatting. So as we, as we see, as we send this email and this account will receive a new email, the same email, the details of same email will also be captured inside public connect as well. So let's send this email. So email is sent and here we will see that in this inbox, we will within few seconds we will receive this email as well so let's refresh it once and yes we can see that from gary monroe we have received a new email so the subject line of this email is this is a test email the same subject line which we have entered here just now few seconds ago and the body of the email says hello Devin, we are just testing this automation thank you regards so guys, we have just now received an email on our Gmail account. And because we have added forwarding and connected this email a Gmail account with Public Connect, we will see the response or the details of the same mail will also be captured inside Public Connect. So here in Public Connect, we have received some response as we can see. And in this response, we can see the details of the person who has sent the mail. So we have the name of the person who sent the email. We have the email address as well. Also, we have the subject line of the email which we have received. This is a test email. We have the same subject line. Then we have some other details regarding this email and then we'll scroll down and we will come to body text. So this is the body text section. And here we will find the email address, the body of the email address as well. This means guys, the step one of setting up this automation is not completely done. We have successfully connected our Gmail account with Public Connect so that every time we receive a new mail in our Gmail account and the details of the same email will be captured inside Public Connect as well. Now it is done. Now what we have to do for creating the backup, we want to send these details of new email which we have received. We want to send this data to Microsoft Excel. Now to do so, we will use Public Connect. So just scroll down and come to our action window over here. And here in choose app, we have to search for Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel it is, just select it. And after that, in action event from the drop down, we have to select create uh, add new row to worksheet. Just select this action step over here. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Microsoft Excel account with Public Connect. And to make this connection, just click on connect with Microsoft Excel. Select your Microsoft Excel account. And after that, it will ask us for the authorization permission. So guys, here, as you can see, I have already logged into my Microsoft Excel account in my browser. That's why Public Connect detected the same account and it is asking us for the authorization permission. Let's click on yes. And that's it. We can see that our Microsoft Excel account will now be successfully get connected with Public Connect. After making this connection, we will see that the first thing it asks us is the workbook. Then in which workbook of our Microsoft Excel account, we want to add this data, add this new row. So in the drop down below, we can see a list of all the workbooks present in our Microsoft Excel account can be seen over here. And out of all of these workbooks, the workbook which we are going to use in this video is named as new email. 
So I have created this workbook to store the backup of my emails. And in this workbook, you can see I have created four columns. First column is for the name of the person who sent the email. Second column is for the email address from which I am receiving the email. Third column is for the subject line of the email and fourth column is for the body of the email. So new email, this is the workbook in which we want to add the data. So from the drop down, we will select this workbook. After selecting the workbook, it is asking us for the worksheet. So here in this workbook, as you can see, I have only one sheet named as sheet one. So in worksheet, we will select sheet one over here. And after selecting the sheet, it is asking us column one, column B, column A, column B, column C and column D. So we have created four columns of data in our worksheet in our Microsoft Excel workbook. So basically we can see the list of same column, the name of same columns over here in Pavli Connect. And Pavli Connect is asking us in which column, in column A, B, C, D, in which in the, uh, one of these columns, what is the data which we want to add. So in column A of name, we wanted to add the name of the person who sent us the email. So we have received the name of the person who sent us the email from the responses of Gmail parser in email parser in our trigger window response of this workflow. This is the name of the person. So we have to basically map this same name over here in this column name, column A section. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field. And in the drop down below, we will see all the responses which we have received from Gmail in Pavli Connect using email parser can be seen over here. And out of all of these responses, select the response of the name of the person and map it. And it is mapped. After mapping the name, the next thing it asks us in column B that is the email. So we have also received the email address of the person from which the email address from which we have received the mail. So we will map the same email address over here as well and the process of mapping stays the same. Just click on this field and from the drop down below from the responses of email parser, select and map the email. After that, it is asking us for column C and in column C, we wanted to add the subject line. So here in subject section, we wanted to add the subject line of the email. Just click on this field and from the drop down below, select and map the subject line. And after that, in column D, we actually wanted to map or enter the email content. So here in column D, we just map the email body, the body of the email. We'll just scroll down and this is the body text. Just select it and map it. So in this way, all the details of the new email which we have received in Pavli Connect, we have mapped all of this data in the action step of Microsoft Excel. And after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. Now, as we click on save and send test request, we can see that we have received some response over here. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows the data which we have mapped over here. Basically, the details or the data of new email which we have received on our Gmail account is now successfully added in our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So let's check it. So we'll go to spreadsheet. We will refresh this worksheet once. And yes, guys, you can see that just now automatically the same email which we have sent, the test email which we have sent from this account, the same email which we have received just now on our Gmail account, the details of that email is now added in our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. So we have the same name of the person who sent the email, same email address from which we received the email, the same subject line of the email as well as the same body of the email. This means, guys, the automation which we have created in this video is now working perfectly fine. Now, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation once again. Once again, we'll go to our second Gmail account. And this time, once again, we will send the email from the same account. But this time, the subject line and the body of the email will be changed. So this time, for example, I will add the subject line as this is a real time test. This is the real time test. And I will add body as hello, Devin. Is this automation is working fine? Is this automation is working fine? Automation working fine. Thank you. Okay, so this is the new email. We are sending it from the same account to the same account of ours, but this time the subject line and the body of the email is changed. Let's click on send. So the email is sent. And now we will see that the same email will be received in our Gmail account. So in this account, we have added the forwarding and we will receive that in this e 
account we will see the email let's refresh this and yes we have successfully just now received the email on our gmail account as well and because we have created this automation we will see that instantly the same email will be added as a backup in our microsoft excel spreadsheet so we'll go to excel spreadsheet let's refresh that once and yes, we can see that we have used the same account to send the email. So the name of the person and the email address is seen. But the subject line and the email contact is now changed. We have the new subject line of the new test email which we have sent just now. And we have the new content of the email. So we have tested this automation in real time. And we saw that every time we will receive a new email in our Gmail account, automatically, instantly, that email will be added in our Microsoft Excel spreadsheet as a backup. So after completely setting up this automation, let's get back to Pavli Connect and understand in brief that how we created, what are the steps we followed to create such a powerful automation. So first we have created a workflow in Pavli Connect and in this workflow, we have used a feature of Pavli Connect that is email parser. So using email parser, we have connected our Gmail account with Pavli Connect so that every new email received on our Gmail account can be received in Pavli Connect as well. After that, using Pavli Connect, we have received the email of uh, the email from our Gmail account and sent that same data to Microsoft Excel to create the backup. So not just these applications, guys, you can integrate plenty of other applications using Pavli Connect. And guys, one more important thing, you will find the clone link of the same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. If you need any kind of help or have any queries, you can ask them on forum.pavli.com and you can check Pavli Connects pricing at this link. So if this video was helpful to you, you can like this video. Don't forget to share it with others and to keep getting such content on automation and integration, you can subscribe to Pavli. Thank you. Have a nice day.